Hey, hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your week and reading, June 7th to the 9th. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is a predictive, condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Sagittarius, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Four of Cups, Sagittarius. This is water energy. You may be feeling some discontent or maybe a little depression. Looks like you're ruminating and overanalyzing. Maybe spinning your wheels. There's an offer coming in. But you're taking time out and resting. It's a voluntary withdrawal. You're contemplating and meditating on your emotions. Like maybe you are tired of a situation. And now you're lacking emotional resources to proceed. But the answers and the inspiration you need are there for you. Do not sink into apathy because it blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities. Pay attention to your dreams. They are messages. And watch for signs and synchronicities. And do not get stuck in your withdrawal. You'll need to find ways to move forward. There could be boredom and a depression in romance. This is someone that's ignoring or refuses that fourth cup offered by a divine hand in the cloud seems like he's caught between the world of thought and action and he feels such discontent he can't see that magical offer someone just needs to look at their life in a fresh new way and rethink the situation draw clear conclusions but do not rush yourself you're waiting for something turning things over in your mind you might be suspicious or reluctant you might be obstinate or jaded and feeling disenchanted might be bored or self-absorbed. You're doing things like refusing an offer, demanding proof, or distrusting others' intentions toward you. You could be procrastinating or waiting for a better offer. You might need to notice this offer, and you're contemplating joy. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Queen of Pentacles, Sagittarius. This is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Could be a Capricorn. This represents domesticity, to be in domestic. This is a benevolent person. They respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money that they distribute. This can indicate security. Or a mother. It's harvest after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This is a person that's protective and nurturing and resourceful. They're bountiful and they're down to earth. They're fertile and healthy. They're a homemaker. They love gardens and growing things. And they love nature. They're affectionate and caring and they know how to manage money. They love the good things in life and have acquired them. They're content to spend their life enjoying them and they're satisfied when they get what they want. This can also indicate that help is going to be given of a practical nature. And it tells us that what is cherished must be cared for. And this is a person that puts high value on stability. They're the part of us that revels in gardening, cooking, and craft making, massaging and being massaged, all physical sensations that leave us feeling content and whole. Your third card and this is how it affects you. It's your attitude. The Six of Wands, Sagittarius. Fire element. This is your energy. Fire. 
The Six of Wands represents triumph and victory. It's triumphing over adversity and accolades and getting those pats on the back that you deserve. This is good news and success. And you've met the challenges of your work and position or your reputation, and you've come out with flying colors. And now victory is at hand. You've overcome the opposition, and now your past self-doubt is being resolved, and you're in the process of winning some big battles. And you can expect to succeed and have your desires gratified. Gifts may be received. Awards and recognition won. It's victory and success after strife and working on something hard. This could be a promotion. It could be praise and recognition and having made progress. And you deserve all the accolades because you've worked hard. But beware of pride. It is okay to take pride in your ability to lead and inspire others. You're receiving recognition, so try to receive the acclaim and admiration graciously. Be proud, but be aware of conceit. Remember to give gratitude to all those that supported you to get there, because others look to you for guidance, so responsible and ethical action is required. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Five of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Earth energy. This is feeling a lack of security, or maybe a temporary illness. These are shared hardships and struggling with someone. Could be unemployment or a financial loss and having doubts. So ask for help, for the assistance and the support is available. You're not alone, and these hardships are going to pass away. You're just crippled by circumstances. It's temporary could be temporary ill health and complaining, so you need to rebuild your self-worth. Feeling unstable and you might have some scarcity thinking and feel alienated, but friends are supportive. Or you might be anxious about being able to support yourself and others and feel ashamed about it, fearful of asking for help and having to rely on the support of others. Could be ill health that prevents you from bringing in the money you need, but you're not alone. In times of need, the lesson is to reach out to others. These connections are what makes our life special and allows us to persevere through the hard times. So be grateful for all those who have our back and reach out to others. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Six of Swords, Sagittarius. Air energy. This is recovery and mental healing. There's support and transition. This is your second six in the layout, which represents irritability. But this is leaving your troubles behind, and there's going to be smooth sailing ahead. It's the calm after the storm. This can be a move or a journey. And the change will go smoothly, and it's relief at what you left behind. Could be going on a short trip. Could even be a spiritual journey. The storm is broken and now calm sets in, so be open for how things develop and have patience, because you're moving away from difficulties towards more peaceful times. It's a move to a more pleasing environment, a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion, and now a sense of harmony will prevail once again. So let go of what is holding you back. This is feeling a loss and a sadness from a past hurt, but now you're moving towards a more supportive environment. And here's your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Sagittarius, you've got uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Look beneath the surface in your life and you'll find treasure. Bounty is awaiting you in many forms. The secret is knowing that you deserve it and are worthy of it. Something that you thought was ordinary will turn out to be extraordinary. Take a second look at the people and the situations in your life. Sometimes receiving treasure is simply a matter of seeing life in a new way. The treasure was always there, you just didn't see it. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that on the journey, the traveler confronts dragons and overcomes obstacles, and in the process discovers the depth of treasure in their soul. Often treasure is found in the most unexpected of places. Sometimes, after it seems that you faced an inner dragon, 
you'll find the hidden treasure. Success begets success. So as you begin to seek and find the bounty in your life, more and more rewards will follow. This card heralds a bountiful, prosperous, abundant time in your life. That's great, Sagittarius. And here's your animal message from Susie Green. Sagittarius, you've got lion. Banish loneliness by reaching out to special friends, just like the Five of Pentacles tells us. Tawny monarch of the savannah, lion does not waste her days in needless physical exertion, but conserves her energy by sleeping, resting, and companionly lounging. Just like the Four of Cups, you're resting. Working long, exhausting hours for the money to purchase prestige, goods, leaves little time for the pleasures of friendship, Loneliness is spirit diminishing. Designer clothes make poor companions. But Lion has padded into your cards to remind you how vital friends and neighbors really are. Reach out to those around you and be open to others. Here's your take note moment. If you are complaining about things in your life, you're on the complaining frequency and you're not in a position to attract what you want. And that is what the Five of Pentacles is telling us. Get on the frequency of good with your thoughts and words. Firstly, you'll, when you get on that frequency with your, your good thoughts and words, you'll feel good. And secondly, then you'll be on the frequency of receiving more good. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.